Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about bone conductance. Fancy term, what it really means is that our skeletal system definitely has an impact on low frequency energy and how we perceive it, how we perceive the attack and decay of it, how we perceive mud and soup, so to speak, uh, in our small rooms when we have too much energy in the room load. So we got to realize that low frequency energy is felt. We really don't hear it. We feel it. And through our skeletal system, some of us are a little bit better at, at feeling the, the attack and the decay of low frequency energy. So we want to realize that our skeletal system is acting as kind of our ears in this situation. So we have to be very cognizant about low frequency energy in our small rooms. I mean, we're all fighting this uphill battle, right? So I was watching the news the other day and I saw a football team and they were deaf. And the way they were communicating with both teams were deaf. And the way they were communicating with the members on the field was through a bass drum on the sidelines. So it was interesting because they would strike the bass drums and immediately the people on one team would feel the vibrations and know what play to use. So they were communicating plays, the, the number and sequence of plays they were using against the other team. And then the other team was doing the same thing with the bass drum on the other side of the field. So it was this back and forth between these bass drums and the players. Now the players can't hear, they're deaf. So the only way they communicate was through bone conductance using a skeletal system. So keep this in mind, this is a good, good lesson to learn. So remember, we're dealing with energy that's 30, 40, 50 foot long. It's not going to fit in our rooms. And I know a lot of you try to figure out how to make it work. It's not going to because you just can't get dimensions in your room that are multiples or the equivalent of, of these numbers in length of wavelength. So you're not going to ever be able to do it. You have to manage it as best that you can and then live with the results. That's the whole key. You manage through treatment, obviously. Here's another thing we have to realize, that the subwoofer position in, inside the room is dependent upon the height, the width, and the length of the room, okay? So we have to take all of these variables into consideration because the position of the subwoofer in the room is going to be dependent on all of those variables. So you have to realize that we have to take our room ratios into uh, consideration and then we have to find the correct position in the room. But you want to make sure that you're marrying the subwoofer to the room and you're trying to get the best position to get the best sound in the room. A lot of guys will have their speakers up front in the front of the room and they'll put the sub between them. Okay. That may or may not be the best place for the room dimensions. And there's things that little tests we can use to uh, kind of show that. And one day I'll, I'll go through some of the tests that we use. And you can do them with simple phone apps. It takes a little time. You got to be patient and you got to be observant. You got to study how your room reacts to energy. And I find that that's where most people fall short. They don't really understand what's going on in their room and they go on the internet and they read about things that uh, are mostly regurgitated nonsense out of textbooks and most of the people regurgitating the nonsense never built a room in their life. So they have no actual real world experience. They can regurgitate data out of a textbook. They can't build a room. I know they can't build a room and get it down to 28 dB SPL like we did with our last project. I want them to explain how they're going to do that. Well, they can't, okay? So the bottom line here is be sensitive to your room ratios when you're trying to do your, your subwoofer positioning. 
and we'll uh, do some more videos on some tests that you can use with simple phone apps to help you with that process. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.